Hello, this is Jason Wan. So today I want to talk about um, first time home buyer. Uh, in Hawaii, we actually have a lot of great resource for people to reach out for a, kind of like a first time home buyer a lecture or a program. And some of them are actually sponsored by the uh, local big bank. Uh, and what they do is uh, they they have um, these potential uh, first time home buyers to go through a number of uh, classes. And uh, each of the classes, they talk about um, budgeting, how can you save money, uh, what kind of expectation, and uh, to teach about the, uh, um, the debt obligation, you know, like you, uh, it's easy to borrow money, but you have to meet up with your promises of repaying the, uh, the debt. So um, they're great resources, and uh, and I personally have ordered some of these uh, classes as well. And I found about if you are first time home buyer, you definitely should take uh, advantage of these great resources, and um, and to learn more about uh, some of the law uh, or program that is offered by the government. Uh, that may be uh, making it easier for you to uh, acquire your very first property. Uh, on top of this, uh, I also want to mention about uh, first time if you are in the in the market of buying your failed first property, do not worry. I mean, do not never ever think about that's your first and last property that you are going to own in your lifetime, okay? And the reason why I want to say here is um, a lot of time first time home buyer, they are coming from a, a rental background. And when they are renter, more or less they have the uh, luxury of a uh, cherry picking about the amenities of the building, um, or like how the age of the uh, unit, and they because f by spending the same amount of the money, they may be getting different rental unit uh, across time. But uh, when you go out and start looking for your first, your fail first property to acquire, uh usually the expectation and also the uh, reality, they are different. Um, for some of newer condos, because of the amenities are so great, they are usually at more high premium price point and also the living area tends to be smaller than uh, older condos or apartment. And, um, and I always want to uh, tell first time home buyer about like they really have this mental preparedness. Uh, when they go and look at any properties, make sure you have the mindscape about you probably will be owning this piece of property, property for three to five years. And uh, hopefully uh, the income level will get uh, adjust upward uh, because you may get a job promotion or you actually um, decide to uh, work on an additional uh, part-time job on, on top of your full-time uh, commitment. And uh, this all will help you kind of bring up uh, how much more uh, money you are able to um, to borrow from the from the lender, and this also helps you to upgrade your living uh, living uh, area as well. So uh, never ever using the the very first property that you're going to acquire as your one and only one <laughs> properties, uh, because sometimes our uh, first time home buyer they. Um, Little bit challenging to uh, to adjust the uh, the um, uh, the reality about the uh, how much money they have in the pocket versus about what kind of properties that they can see, um, and uh, being realistic I think is good, and uh, and trust me I've been helping uh, a lot of first time home buyers in the past, and um, majority of them uh, they work. Uh, dedicately uh, and they improve the uh, their own living situation. For example, most of the first time home buyer, uh, they are single and uh, down the road, uh, maybe a couple years later, uh, they got married and then uh, both people, they actually are working as well. So that means your income suddenly got increased. So that also, and also for all the uh, mortgage payment that you're paying for all this time, it also helps you pay down some of the uh, the principal amount, so which means you have additional equity left on your property, and uh, and here in Hawaii, um, for the moving average for the prices of the properties, uh, is usually upward 
uh, even though we have some recession happen in the uh, um, 2008 or something like that, uh, but uh, Hawaii real estate, we usually uh, recover from it and then we uh, outperform uh, the, the history. So uh, so the thing is, uh, your equity will get saved up eventually on the property that you purchase uh, for, for your very first time. And, uh, and with all these uh, additional equity, that means when you liquidate this asset, you are able to uh, have more money to uh, shop for something better. Uh, for example, in the beginning, you are getting your studio and then you upgrade for a one bedroom and a den unit, and then eventually two bedrooms or, or a small townhouse uh, unit. And then when you start having family or uh, um, children, then you may be thinking about uh, having a small uh, small house, uh, even though it may be a little bit further um, in the uh, central area, but at least you own the whole house. So um, really, uh, never get defeated about the very first pool of uh, uh, entry level properties that you can afford, uh, because I guarantee very likely that won't be your first and only one property that you acquire. And some of the um, first time home buyer that I've dealt with, uh, they actually use the very first property that they that they purchase. Uh, instead of we mark uh, uh, we sell it in the marketplace. Uh, they took out the equity and use it as a down payment for the second property. So the original property that they bought will become a rental property. So they rent out to uh, to renters, and uh, and then they use the money um, to finance or uh, a different uh, properties, uh, which is catered to more what they what I call the dream criteria.